Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and Apple has recently released iOS 16.6, a really important update as it's basically one of the last big updates to iOS 16. It is really important, especially if you have the iPhone 8, 8 plus or the iPhone 10 as you won't be getting iOS 17 on your device. But even though it's 16.6, there are still a lot of problems and I'm seeing a lot of reports from users having really bad battery life on their iPhone running iOS 16.6. So in this video, I will show you guys how to fix the battery drain issue on your iPhone running iOS 16.6, a few tips and tricks that hopefully will help you get way better battery life on your device. Now, first of all, what I suggest you do is make sure that you have the final release of iOS 16.6 installed on your device. If you had the beta installed previously, make sure that your device is updated to the RC version, or if not, make sure you go ahead and update to it or to the public update. So if you're on the RC version of the iOS 16.6 beta, then you're good to go. It's the same release as the public one. But if you're not, then just go ahead, go to settings general, then go to software update and go to beta updates and make sure you just go ahead and turn it off from here. Once you do that, you come back to the screen, you will actually get the update for iOS 16.6. So just turn off the beta updates and you will get the update here. Again, if you don't have the RC version installed on your device. The next thing I suggest you guys do is recalibrate the battery of your iPhone. So if you're seeing like battery percentage dropping like two or three or four, maybe even five or more percentage at, at, the, at the same time, or maybe it's at 7%, 8% battery, or maybe five or 10, and it just shuts down. That means that you will have to recalibrate the battery of your iPhone. To do that, there's a very simple way. Make sure you reboot your iPhone volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. The next thing you should do is drain the battery of your iPhone all the way to zero until it shuts down and then of course recharge it to 100%. Now you shouldn't do that very often. You can do it maybe once every couple of months just to make sure that the battery is actually showing the accurate percentage right there. Now another thing you have to do is actually wait for better battery life a couple of days, maybe three or four days after you have installed iOS 16.6 on your device as this has actually been confirmed by Apple and the battery life on the first couple of days to three days will actually be way worse because iOS has to adjust basically to the new update, the components and all that. So way better battery life after three days than what Apple says. So wait a couple of days and your iPhone should have a bit of better battery life. Now another thing you must do is update your apps. Make sure you have all your apps up to date after you have updated your device because the bigger apps will always release updates after an iOS update because they have to be compatible with that update. So always make sure that you have your apps up to date, especially the ones that you use daily. And now let me show you guys a few other tips and tricks that will help you get better battery life on iOS 16.6, but other iOS versions as well. First of all is shuffle wallpapers. I wouldn't actually use this feature. And if you use it, make sure that you use the on tap feature, because if you have it set at daily, hourly or on lock, which is the worst one, it will actually use a lot of battery to change the wallpaper every time you lock and unlock your device. And if you use your device a lot, you know that you will probably unlock it more than 100 times a day. That means that the wallpaper will have to change 100 times, causing the battery to drain really, really fast. Next would be the astronomy wallpapers. I wouldn't use these also. They of course have this cool animation, but the ones, especially the earth one that uses your location, it has animations all the time. I wouldn't actually use this at all because it also will cause the battery to drain a lot faster. And also with the weather condition wallpapers, with all the animations on the lock screen, they consume battery a lot. Next up are live activities. Make sure that you limit the amount of live activities that you use on the lock screen of your device. And especially if you have set more frequent updates 
for your live activities just know that those will consume a ton of battery and that is confirmed by apple as well so if we go here under tv you can see live activities we can enable more frequent updates and there are other apps that actually support this feature and right here it says that it will drain the battery of your iphone faster so if you're using live activities make sure you limit the time you use them and of course make sure that you use more frequent updates as less as possible next up are of course the home screen and lock screen widgets i know they are cool but don't use unnecessary widgets for the home screen and lock screen of your device especially ones that actually have to update frequently like this one right here for the stocks it has to actually update all the time that means that it is actually consuming cpu power and battery at the same time now the same goes for lock screens widgets there are also some apps that offer dynamic lock screen widgets basically that are widgets that are animated those also will consume a ton of battery now of course something we use all the time when using our iphones our data now if you're in a place where there's no good 5g coverage make sure you just turn it off completely 5g will consume a ton of battery especially if there's no good coverage on your area it will try to always try to use the 5g that way the, the battery will get, be consumed really really fast also when you have the chance where you're maybe at school or at work or at home where you have wi-fi make sure that you use wi-fi a lot more than your data even though you might have an unlimited plan or maybe your data is even faster than your wi-fi make sure that you use wi-fi as much as possible because wi-fi will consume way less battery than cellular data will which actually just drains the battery really really fast something i would also turn off if i'm not using on the device not just iOS 16.6 but every device is bluetooth if you are not using bluetooth and you don't need it at the time make sure to turn it off now the same goes for airdrop as well you don't need to have airdrop turned on if you don't want to use it make sure you just turn off bluetooth and also airdrop when you're not using them because they're always working in the background that way consuming cpu power and battery at the same time of course the old school trick background app refresh that actually works and it has a huge impact on battery life make sure that you turn these off as much as possible there are like a lot of apps here that don't need to be refreshing in the background make sure you go ahead check them out and turn off as much as possible from this list right here now another thing i would do is make sure that you always use auto brightness on your iphone better experience for your screen better experience for your eyes and it saves battery life so head on under accessibility display and text size and make sure that you have auto brightness turned on don't look at this it's turned off just for the video and another thing use dark mode as much as possible dark mode will help a lot especially if you have a device with an oled display where all the pixels that are black here are just pixels that are turned off that way this display is consuming way less battery now of course another thing you might want to do is check out your location settings here so go to location services if you keep it off then it's good i just keep it off all the time i turn it on only when i need it if you don't want to keep it off then make sure you go ahead and check all the apps right here and see which app has access to your location and you might want to limit that or just completely turn off a lot of the apps that you have here of course protects your privacy but also saves a ton of battery so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one